I, I'm Doksha. Doksha can mean only son or reader. I usually introduce myself to people like this. Then the following misunderstanding would occur. Oh, are you an only child? I am, but that isn't what I mean. Huh? Then? My name is Doksha. Kim Doksha. Kim Doksha. Kim, highly respected only son. My father gave me that name to be a strong man by myself. However, thanks to the name my father gave me, I turned out to be just a normal, single, and lonely man. In short, it was like this. I was Kim Dokja, 28 years old and single. My hobby was reading web novels on the subway. Then I'll go on my smartphone. In a noisy subway, I raised my head reflexively. A pair of curious eyes were staring straight at me. They belonged to an employee from the human resources team, Yu Sangha. Ah, hello. Are you going home from work? Yes. What about Yu Sangasi? I was lucky. The manager went on a business trip today. Yu Sangha sat down soon as the seat next to me became vacant. A subtle scent came from her shoulders, making me nervous. Do you normally take the subway? That. Yu Sangha made a dark expression. Come to think of it, this was the first time I'd met Yu Sangha on a subway train. Starting with personnel manager Kong to finance manager Han, there were rumors that Yu Sangha had men from the company driving her home every workday. Yet unexpected words came from Yu Sangha's mouth. Someone stole my bicycle. Bicycle. You commute by bike? Yes. I have a lot of overtime these days and seem to be lacking exercise. It is a bit annoying, but it is worth doing. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Yu Sangha smiled. Looking closer at her, I could understand the feelings men held toward her. However, it was none of my business. Every person had a genre of life, and Yu Sangha was someone who lived a genre different from myself. After the awkward conversation, we looked at our phones. I opened up the novel app I was reading on before, while Yu Sangha... What was this? Por favor, dinero. Huh? Spanish. I see. What does it mean? Please give me some money, Yu Sangha replied proudly, studying on the subway while going home. She truly had a genre different from me. However, what was the use of memorizing words? You're working hard. By the way, what is Dokja Si looking at? Ah, I... Yu Sangha's gaze was fixed on the LCD screen of my smartphone. Is it a novel? Yes, well... I'm studying Korean. Wow. I also like novels. I haven't been able to read lately because I don't have time. It was surprising. Yu Sangha liked reading novels. The genre of my life was obviously realism. Dokja has a solo life. Huh? What? I am just someone like that. In this genre, I wasn't a protagonist, but a solo person. The life of a solo. Yu Sangha had a serious expression on her face. However, I waved my hands to show it was really okay. I didn't know why, but this person was really worried about me. Maybe because she was part of the personnel department. I was already aware of my performance, though. Dok Jashi is really good. Yes? Then I will live an ivory life. Sangha Shivri. Yu Sangha seemed to have decided something as she turned back to studying Spanish. I gazed at her for a while before returning to the novel. Everything had returned to normal, but strangely, my scrolling of the novel didn't go well. Maybe it was because I realized the weight of reality that I couldn't scroll down. At that time, a notification appeared at the top of my smartphone. You have one new mail. It was from the author of Ways of Survival. I opened the mail. Reader Nim, my novel will become paid from 7 p.m. This will be helpful. Good luck. One attachment. The author said he would give me a gift. What was the gift? Like my name, I was also a reader by nature. So I was excited to receive the mail. Yes, it wasn't bad living as a reader. I checked the time. It was 6.55 p.m. I had exactly five minutes before the novel became monetized at 7 p.m. Then I opened up my list of preferred novels in the app. Since I was the only reader, I should leave a congratulatory comment and give strength to the author. However, the work doesn't exist. 
I tried typing ruined several times in the search box, but the result was the same. The bulletin board for ways of survival had disappeared without a trace. It was strange. Had there ever been a case of a novel being deleted without notification when it was going to be monetized? At that moment, the subway lights turned off and the inside of the train became dark. Kick! The subway train shook loudly and let out a metallic sound. It caused Yu Sangha to scream and grab my arm. Then I heard the sound of other people getting stirred up. Yu Sangha gripped my arm so tightly that I paid more attention to the pain in my left arm than the sudden stop. It took a dozen seconds for the train to stop fully. Then I heard confused voices coming from everywhere. Uh, what? Wait, what is this? In the dark, one or two smartphone lights turned on. Yu Sangha still held my left arm tightly as she asked, We, what is going on? I pretended to be unconcerned. Don't worry, it isn't a big deal. Is that so? Yes, it is probably a disturbance from a suicide. The engineer will soon make an announcement. As I finished speaking, I heard the engineer's announcement. Telling all passengers on the train. Telling all passengers on the train. The loud surroundings became calm. I sighed and opened my mouth. See, it isn't a big deal. Now an apology will air, and the power will come back on. Everyone run away. Run! What? There was a beeping sound, and the broadcast turned off. The inside of the train became a mess. Did Dok just see? What is this? A bright light flashed from the front of the subway train. There was a loud drumming sound, followed by a pop. Something was heading this way in the darkness. It was just a coincidence that I saw the clock at this moment, 7 p.m. Tick. It felt like the world was stopping. Then I heard a voice. The free service of Planetary System 8612 has been terminated. The main scenario has started. This was the moment the genre of my life changed.